And we're back with part number two of this R.J. Barrett Freeless Rebo with the New York Knicks. James Harden, no surprise, gets MVP. R.J. Barrett, our very own, gets Rookie of the Year, averaging 18 points, 8 rebounds, 4 assists, a steal, and a half block per game. And then it's the rest of his numbers. John Morant backing up. Mike Conley gets Sixth Man of the Year. Giannis has to be no surprise there. He gets Defensive Player of the Year. Averaging almost two steals and two blocks. And Marvin Bagley, the third most improved player in the league, almost averaging a double double after being 12 points, five rebounds, and two assists. So his numbers go down, but that's fine. Mike D'Antoni, coach of the year. Real question is do we have any Knicks on the all NBA teams? I highly doubt it, and we do not have any defensive players. Again, I highly doubt that. Raymond on there from the Warriors, and that's pretty nice. And Anthony Davis is still in New Orleans. Zion, Jaw, RJ, Grant Williams always really surprises me. I did a, uh, a Memphis rebuild earlier today, but I'm not uploading that because I forgot to record it. But Grant Williams got his first ring within two seasons. Of being with Detroit. Carson Edwards rounds up the first team. And anybody else? Not really. So, first year, really successful. We got the one seed. Before I forget about all this, uh, player stats and team stats. Nobody averaged over 20 points. That's fine by me. Butler played well. Barrett, you know, I saw his numbers. Canner played really well. Almost averaged a double double for the first time since 2018. Uh, Dennis Smith Jr. played really well. Him and Jimmy Butler tied in assist numbers. That's pretty crazy. Jordan Bowen, really good bench piece. I thought he would have a spot on the second team, but he doesn't. Dotson, Knox, Mitchell, Robinson. It's kind of disappointments here and there, but overall the team played really well. And we put Trier in the G League, and he progressed pretty well. And he's pretty upset about it, but... That's fine by me. Uh, let's see here. Team stats. Forgot to look at that. Second in record points per game. We were, oh gosh, I'm working to feel the 19th points allowed. We were the best. And then second point differential. So if everything lines up perfectly, we will be playing against Houston in the finals. So game one, we win. Game two, we win. Game three, we win. Blow them out again, 104-72. And we sweep Cleveland, so that's making me really happy. We'll be playing Washington in the second round. See, Zion led the Pelicans to a three-seed in the Western Conference. <clears throat> don't see the Warriors over there. Game one against Washington. They blow us out by 36 points. Game two, they blow us out by 19. What is going on? Okay. What is going on? Uh, we don't have injuries on or anything. Like, okay, there's 3 1. Okay, why are you doing this to me? I'm very confident, even though I don't sound like it. All right, can we make this 3-2, please? And we do win by three once again. Toronto is just sitting there waiting on the end of this series between us and Washington. Did not start off the gates hot, and we get eliminated, and we lose game six by nine. And, you know, number, officially number one. So we just got to see who we need to bring in, what positions of need. Houston against Washington in the NBA Finals. And it is going to be Houston winning it all. Blowing, letting Washington blow a 3-1 lead in the Finals. Uh, any major rule changes? Yes, I like that one. So we'll keep that draft lottery. Hopefully we have a chance. And we do not. Apparently, the Mavericks pick was outside the top three. 
and then we have pick 29, so hopefully none of our uh, people want to get talked to. Okay, so that's working out pretty well. Uh, rookie signing, I'm not really going to go to the draft this episode because well, we just don't have a good pick. EJ Montgomery, apparently he's back in it. Okay, and then Denny Abejaya, how do you say his name? 74 years old from Israel. Send him you know, to the G League or wherever. We'll bring back everybody else here. Anthony Davis declined his player option, so the real question is, will he go? He is unrestricted. We can't afford him, but somebody can. Trier does not want to sign with us. Uh, I don't blame him on that. Uh, that's the only way to spell Brian. Uh, we can get him, Kent Bazemore, and Pat Connington. I think Pat Connington would be nice, but he just can't play defense. That's his thing. Rodney McGurder. I think he'd be nice for just a one year deal. So we'll bring him in. We need a power forward here. Somebody that can play really good defense. And on the perimeter. PJ Tucker. Bring him in. We can bring them both. And we do so. Try here. Maybe we can try and uh, bring him back as well and then trade somebody away for a better power core because I say we are weak at that position. No, we are nah, we we're pretty set at power core, but just backup's not that good. Uh, small forward. If we could trade with Kevin Knox away and Let's just see what we can get for Kevin Knox. Maybe somebody that can help us on the bench. Seiko Dovia from Bronx. Knox Bridges would be nice, but that's not realistic enough. Isaac Navonga. He seems to progress pretty well. Jared Allen and Allen Williams. Let's see if we'll have enough money next year. So, I mean, that is a big overall jump for a power forward. And that will be a like. Two good pieces, and then if we can throw in Mitch Robinson, make up for that. Alright, so we have two really good centers now. Make sure his contract and everything stayed in a bit. Maybe we just need need a power forward. I don't know. Jimmy Butler does really well here. Uh, try here did not come back. So let's get let's go over to training camps. See how the team does. But I highly doubt we'll be any way but well, we could be better. We'd have an upgraded backup power forward. So draft class. Jay Green, I think that's Jalen Green, I could be wrong, but I don't know. So, untapped potential. Let's send it to Mr. Jordan Bowen, he's up to a B plus, that's what I like to see. 
perimeter defense. Let's send it to Dennis Smith Jr. And Blake. Let's send it to Jarrett Allen. He needs to bulk up. So I'm pretty feeling pretty good about this season. Got Dalladova coming off. Maybe he can play. Corey Craig. We'll put that guy in the G League. He can progress down there. And then... I think we're going to... It just depends on how well we do this season. Who we keep and who we get rid of, so... Um, our tenth man will be, I guess, Mr. Craig, so... I think it's gonna be it for me on this episode after I fix... Get all the lineups here. System proficiency. Let's just be balanced and see how that does. How did we finish last year? That's what I want to know. I already forgot. So we finished. We finished 62 and 20 last year, so hopefully we can do a lot better than that this year. I will see you all with the final part, part number three.